As we start to evaluate meter performance, one of the common used terms in the industry is singulation. And that is how we determine how well your existing meter uh, puts one seed on its respective disc or finger set and drops it down the seed tube. One option offered by Precision Planting for a vacuum planter is the VSEP meter. Um, the original vacuum meter upgrade was what Precision called the ESET meter, which was to take your existing vac planter and convert it with a meter with some of the technologies we'll talk about. And the ESET stood for every seed every time, taking your existing vacuum planter, adding a different meter and meter components as we'll touch on, and, and make that original vac planter plant as well at the time as a finger pickup planter. And that was and that worked well up about until the time we started to see a big movement in the seed industry for refuge in the bag. We started to see meter performance, the singulation number of a finger meter, start to deteriorate because a finger meter did a very nice job dropping the same seed size or shape. And you could set that with a precision finger meter to uh, be more or less aggressive to accommodate one seed size. The ESET did the same thing. Um, on a vacuum, on an original vacuum planter. Uh, fast forward to the refuge in the bag. Once the finger meter started to have some issues, Precision Planting offered a vacuum upgrade option to a finger pickup planter, and they called that the VSEP meter. Um, and we'll walk through some of the components of a VSEP meter. You have a cell disc. In this case, we're using a 27 cell disc to plant corn. Precision offers multiple other seed discs, depending on if you're planting specialty crops or soybeans. Um, there's multiple difference to fit your cropping needs. Inside the meter housing, some of the technologies that allow these meters, the newer vac meters, to singulate at or close to 100% is we've got a floating singulator that, that does move as the disc changes shape or breaks in at, over time over acres, the idea is each one of these little finger sets is designed to shut off a certain amount of the vacuum applied to this so that if you've got, in the event that you pick up two, two seeds at the same time because maybe you're running too much vac, the idea is by the time they have run across these lobes, it will have shut enough vac off to uh, knock, take a double out. Um, we have a floating knockout wheel. So any fragments or anything that gets stuck in this disc, um, this will shut off airflow completely. We've got a flexible seal in the back. So as we're trying to hold vacuum against the back side of this meter, this will move or change shape with the contour of this disc. So the V-set, if you notice, is a very small in diameter meter. Um, and originally when they converted finger pickup planters to vac, we could take this V-set meter attach it to your existing drive system, chains, sprockets, um, and power this and convert that to a vac planter. Fast forward a handful of years, the VSEP meter being in, being in smaller diameter also gives it less torque. So if you try to take your existing meter and turn it, it's gonna be extremely hard to turn it by hand. A small diameter meter takes very little torque to turn it. One of the things Precision offers is a V-Drive, a 12-volt motor to control this meter at the row level. So if you look at the row unit behind us, you notice that there's no drive components, no hex shafts, chains, or sprockets. We have a 12-volt motor powering this meter. The beauty of the V-Drive motor is it gives you individual row clutch control. So as you're coming in and out of your headlands, each row will shut off or turn on individually. You have individual row population control. So as you are writing a variable rate prescription, as that planner is making its pass across those transition zones, each meter will think for itself and make the adjustments needed for that meter alone to hit the target rate. Um, the other piece to V-Drive is it's got what it's called turn compensation. So as we turn the planners um, or do contour farming, a lot of times the outside rows, if you're making a turn, will tend to want to speed up on a mechanical drive system. And the inside rows want to slow down. These will basically accommodate that and allow that seed drop to stay the same 
irregardless if you're sped up on the outside or not. So if you're thinking about a meter upgrade, feel free to call one of us at Precision Agri Services, and we'll talk more about the VSET meter.